so as we have seen the calcination in the previous part now let's have a look towards the roasting now roasting itself its name tells us that we are going to roast something so in the metallurgy we are going to roast the ore so roast roasting is heating the ore in the excess of air so anything which we have to roast for that purpose the air is needed so let's have a look towards its definition it is heating strongly the ore in the excess of air to a temperature that the ore does not melt means we are heating the ore so strongly in the excess of air that the ore does not melt now as you can see in roasting or in calcination we have done both the things in the river battery furnace so here also the roasting is done in the heart of river battery furnace where the doors are kept open so roasting is usually done to the sulfide ores now here is a look towards the river battery furnace in which we can see the doors are being kept close so roasting is carried out for the sulfide ores now what is the purpose of roasting why the roasting is needed it is to convert the sulfide ore into oxide and to sulfate means sulfide ore is converted into the oxide and the sulfate let's have a look towards the reaction so when the zinc blend is roasted means it is heated in the presence of air we get a mixture of zinc oxide and zinc sulfate so here is zinc blend that is the zinc sulfide when it is heated in the presence of oxygen we get zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide is given out whereas in the second reaction we see that zinc sulfide plus 2o2 gives the zinc sulfate so this was the very first example now let's have a look towards the second one similarly when galena is roasted a mixture of lead oxide and lead sulfate is formed now here is the re reaction so this is the lead sulfide or we can say the galena as i have told you previously the types of ore so pbs is called as the galena so when it is heated in the presence of air or we can say in the oxygen what we get we get the lead oxide and the lead sulfate so roasting itself i have told you that roasting itself tells us that heating the ore in the presence of air or in the excess of air so when the lead sulfide is heated we get lead oxide and lead sulfate so in the reaction you can see it the second purpose is what it remove the impurities like volatile impurities like the sulfur arsenic antimony phosphorus in the form of their oxide it also removes the moisture it oxidizes easily the oxidizable substance the last is it make the mass porous that is in the form of the molten now here is a quick look towards the distinguish between the calcination and the roasting so whatever the points we have seen for the calcination and for the roasting so here is a look for that so calcination it is the ore which is heated in the absence of air or we can say the limited supply of air roasting the ore is heated in the presence of air iska ulta hum log karenge like in the absence of air and it is done in the presence of air in calcination 
the process is used for the carbonate ores in roasting the process is used for the sulfide ore in calcination carbon dioxide is produced along the metal oxide in roasting sulfur dioxide is produced along the metal oxide now in calcination the doors are kept closed for the river battery furnace whereas in roasting the doors of the river battery furnace are kept open so let's have a look for one of the example like zinc carbonate when it is heated in the absence of air we get the zinc oxide and carbon dioxide is given out whereas in roasting when copper sulfide is heated in the presence of air we get copper oxide that is a metal oxide and sulfur dioxide is given out so this was a brief introduction for the roasting method and in that we have seen the calcination and roasting so the different terms were discussed like the definition the purpose of the roasting also the definition of calcination the purpose of the calcination and the last was the distinguish between the calcination and the roasting thank you